now we will move on to other tips so the first one is to we will connect to the super store data first one we will see like uh, how to push back any value from the tableau dashboard to the third party api connect with the super store data first we will build some any visualization dashboard and pull the sheet here so tableau itself can't do it like uh, we can't uh, push back any value from the tableau dashboard to any third party api or third party data source so we have to use some extension for that so we found some of the extensions that we will discuss so the first one that is free extension is expand it so you can download it from the extension gallery of tableau.com that is expanded right back free version so i've downloaded it we'll upload the t-rex file of that okay now to make it working we require some of the fields like which sheet we want extract all the data and here we need to mention the url of the google uh, spreadsheet or any of the endpoint that uh, we are trying to push back the data so here I will use the Google spreadsheet only. So this is the spreadsheet I have. We'll go on to the tools, the script editor. So this one is already having the script that is needed to push back the value from the W dashboard. So normal spreadsheets won't be having this script. We will need to write this. We'll go to the deploy. We'll deploy it as a web app. Okay. We'll give the access to anyone. We'll deploy it. Once I deploy to copy this URL having a script.google.com macros, we will copy this. Done. From here, we will use this URL as an endpoint to push back our values. Okay. Now, the things that we need. So, here we need to display the measures and select to those both. Here we can add any of the column that we want to. But uh, right back fields, you can select any of the right back fields that you want to. For now, I will write back only the sum of sales. Submit. So this table will appear here now. From here, you can write back the data into the Google Sheets. We'll click. This is the button for the send the data. We'll click on this one. Data sent successfully. So if you come to the Google Sheets, here is the sum of sales for the first reason. That is a central reason. It will appear here. So if I want to change it, we'll do this. So if I want uh, like the reason name also in that one, along with the sum of sales, we will select both of these reason plus sum of sales submit. Now if I select for the each one, we'll send the data. It has sent successfully. If you see here, it will be having reason and sum of sales. So it have other. This is how we can like push back any of the value in the tableau dashboard to the other data sources. So it has other options also. Like you can add a new record also uh, along with the existing existing records. 
here you can edit the record that is already previously there so if you want to remove that record you can remove that record also So this is on this one. Now we'll move on to the third one. Uh, Jaraj, I have yeah. a doubt. Here. Yeah. So, uh, like the above visualization is not linked with the uh, this extension, right? Which one? Uh, you pull this uh, sheet one uh, into the extension. Mm -hmm. So if you will make any change in sheet one, it won't be shown in sheet in this extension chart below. No, it will be shown. If you refresh it here, if you make any changes in the sheet one and you uh, like refresh it here, uh, it will the changes will appear here also. Okay, and if you make the changes in extension, it won't be displayed in the original visualization. Right? No, the vice versa is not possible. If you make any changes in this one, that will not appear in the original sheet. Okay. okay. Let me show you that one. If I pull the reason into the filter section, we'll select only two fields. I come to this one, we'll refresh it. See, east and south only. Yeah. There is one more doubt. Is yeah. it limited only to table type of like uh, visualization? Or for example, if you have bar or line chart, will it be exported as like cross tab with this extension? Uh, for now, I tried only for the table one. As this is the free version, this one also have some limitations. Maybe the commercial version uh, will have the one like we can push any of the values. Okay. I think it would be a uh, cross tab only. Uh, we can check it out. Jeras can go to suite one and change the type to bar. In this. Yeah. We'll change it to bar. Okay. We'll pull it here. Now it's fine. We'll refresh it. Yeah, it will be giving you the value only. Okay. So though we use some visualization, it will export the cross tab. Yeah, it will export the table value only. Nice. Jaraj, one last thing about the configuration part, right? So yeah. We on we did something on Google Sheets for us to be able to get that link, mm -hmm. uh, like some code. Uh, like what were what were we doing there? Like uh, is that code auto generated or is it something that we need to uh, yeah. manually take care of? Yeah. So uh, for an example, this uh, Google Sheet is provided by the Expanded itself. So Expanded is the company name that they developed this extension. So they provided this Google Sheet only with the uh, with having this script already in it. So this is the script we would be needing to push back the value from the table dashboard. So if you go any normal uh, spreadsheet, this will not be the, this script will not be there. So you okay. need to put this script first, and then we will be able to like push back in any of the normal spreadsheet. Okay. Okay. This is spreadsheet they provided, expanded, provide for the example. Okay. And we just have to copy paste to other work worksheets where we need to export, right? Yeah. If you want to export it in other, you need to copy this script. Okay. So we'll move on to the third one. Okay. The third one is on the order of operation in W. So what we will do is we will first we will create the field city plus state. Okay. We will now have the sum of fields. The header. Okay. Now, if I rank them, if I rank them according to the sum of sales, so for now they are ranked according to the sales amount associated with each of them. So what we will do now, if we pull the state one 
in the filter screen and we select any one of the state like if i okay let's select if i select many okay this one is having less yeah okay so if we select any of the states so it the rank will be restarted for that state cities only so it will start one uh, to one it will assign one to that city having the maximum sum of sales uh, on that state only because the rank is a table calculation and state is a dimension filter and dimension filter comes above the table calcs in the order of operation chart so to uh, like to achieve the original rank of these cities like in the whole data whatever their rank is we if we need to achieve this how we will do that we'll create a calculated field state tc for that uh, we, what we will do we will use the table calculation lookup so lookup basically will give us the data in any of the row with an offset so if i put offset is the zero it will be giving the row it will giving the value of the current row only and uh, lookup is a table calculation so table if we use this one instead of normal state and now if i select california so yeah now we will be seeing the original ranks of the city that will be in the whole data because the table calculation filters come below the table calcs in the order of operations chart so from this one we can see the original ranks of each of the city in the california so this is the third trick any doubt in this one okay then this is all i had this one this one and the correct one okay. any doubts in any of the three none from my side at all only from my side okay then